tuberculosis is an infectious disease. It's caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis, a bacterium that spreads through air. The disease may develop in almost any organ of the body, bone, skin, or brain, for example, causing fever and destruction tissues. Patients with lung tuberculosis may cough up tiny water droplets containing living bacteria into the air. Ours can cover the droplets, but happen mostly indoor and in crowded places may get infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis. Most patients with tuberculosis simply took a breath at the wrong place at the wrong time. Last year, 10 million people developed tuberculosis. One million people died from it. Among all infectious diseases, tuberculosis is still the leading cause of death worldwide. Not every person who will get infected with Mycobacterium tuberculosis will also get an active tuberculosis disease. In fact, the majority of those who get infected with Mycobacterium tuberculosis will never develop tuberculosis disease within their lifetime. People with HIV, small children, those who starve and people with a weaker immune system are at higher risk for the development of tuberculosis when exposed to Mycobacterium tuberculosis. A person recently in contact with tuberculosis can be infected with the germ, but only develop tuberculosis later. This is called latent tuberculosis infection, LTBI. LTBI is diagnosed with a skin test or a blood test when a TB disease cannot be found. Active TB can be prevented when persons with latent TB are identified and receive special antibiotics. This is called preventive chemotherapy. In case of active lung tuberculosis, six months of treatment with antibiotics is required. During the two first months, a patient takes four different medicines every day. During the following four months, two different medicines are taken every day. TB is a curable disease, and the vast majority of patients who take the treatment will be cured. Tuberculosis is much more difficult when patients are infected with a Mycobacterium tuberculosis that is resistant to the best drugs, rifampicin and isoniazid. That's called a multidrug resistant tuberculosis. It is estimated that every year worldwide more than half a million people develop multidrug resistant tuberculosis. In the past 10 years, the numbers of patients with multidrug resistant tuberculosis have increased by more than 20% per year on average. In some European countries, more than 40% of all patients with tuberculosis have multidrug resistant tuberculosis. And it is predicted that the number of patients with multidrug resistant tuberculosis will increase for years to come. The Tuberculosis Network European Trials Group, in short TBNet, is a non-governmental organization of clinicians and scientists that collaborate to improve prevention, diagnosis and treatment of tuberculosis, especially in Europe. Members of the TBNet identify research needs, work on them together and report the results of the research in the scientific literature. TBNet develops consensus statements in clinically relevant areas where scientific evidence is still lacking. TBNet is strongly involved in education and jointly with other organizations conducts advanced trainings on clinical tuberculosis in different European countries. TBNet Academy is a special educational activity of TBNet. Young scientists and clinicians meet annually at one of the TB hotspots in Europe to learn from each other and experience mentors. Bacteria that are close family to the tuberculosis bacterium, non-tuberculous mycobacteria, cause disease that is similar to tuberculosis. These bacteria and diseases are studied by a special branch of TBNet and TMNet. The pediatric research is organized by a special branch called PTBNet. With over 400 members, TBNet is the largest collaborative group performing research on tuberculosis in Europe. We are supported by European Respiratory Society. Working together in TBNet makes a difference. And it's a great platform to start an international career on TV. Please find more information on us at www.tbnet.eu. Together. 
we can defeat TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs>